This is Simon at HSE. Today we're going to talk about the top three spraying drone models on the market and which one's going to be best for you. So starting up with the one up front, this is the XAG V40. This is a really unique design. It's a two rotor spraying drone. It has removable tanks and a single battery. This is a 4.2 gallon capacity and this is an excellent model for the price point. So you get all the amazing features you would expect from XAG and you get it at an incredible price. So this is great for portability. It folds up incredibly small and it's still extraordinarily effective. At two gallons per acre you can expect up to 30 acres per hour of use on this model and you can easily swap out the tank by just pulling up on the tank and you can swap it out. So you actually reduce your downtime between flights with this model because you can fill tanks while you fly if you have two tanks. Again, very unique design. You get uh, XAG's incredible uh, rotary nozzle system and peristaltic pumps. So even though this is small, it's very mighty. Moving over to another drone in the XAG family, this is the XAG P100, an absolute workhorse of a machine. This is a 10.5 gallon capacity tank. Um, it has the same style rotary atomizing nozzles that we absolutely love from XAG. Twin peristaltic pumps. These are a little bit more powerful than the ones in the V40. And this drone has an incredible top speed of about 32 miles per hour. Uh, it can cover a ton of area per flights and you can expect 50 plus acres per hour on this model. A couple other interesting things to note on this model. This does use the same batteries as the other XAG models like the V40 right behind it, except it uses two. This does have redundancy in its flight batteries. Something else that's pretty interesting here, you have these huge latches that you can unlatch the entire tank and landing gear assembly and very quickly swap it for a different tank or the Revocast seed spreader. A few small details I like on this model are tie down hooks for transport and just the overall rugged build quality. Now one potential downside to this aircraft is this system does not fold up. So how you see it is how you have to transport it. It fits perfectly in the bed of a pickup truck. All right, let's move on to DJI's T40. Arguably the most popular spraying drone on the market. This is an absolute workhorse of a machine. It has the exact same tank capacity of 10.5 gallons as the XAG P100. These two drones are really head-to-head -head competitors. So the first thing you'll notice that's very unique about the DJI T10 is the counter rotating propeller layout. So you have four arms, but eight rotors, two motors, top and bottom. This does give motor redundancy. However, it does only have a single battery, so you do not have battery redundancy. Guys, I'm curious, put it down in the comments, which one would you prefer, motor redundancy or battery redundancy? Up on the front, we have our 360 degree obstacle detection radars. Now all of these drones do have obstacle detection radars, but the T40 is the only one with a tiltable camera. So that's really handy. You also have these spotlights on the front for night operations. Now something I like about the T40 is that it has these latchable arms that can fold up and it actually folds up in a really small form factor for the size of the aircraft. When this drone is completely folded, you can easily carry it through a standard doorway. Just like the XAG system, DJI now uses a centrifugal rotary atomizing nozzle. These are really, from our testing, the best option for spraying drones. Now the DJI T40 does have a little bit lower top speed than the XAG P100. So from our experience, application rates of around three to four gallons per acre or under, the XAG P100 can fly a little faster, which means it can cover more area per hour. This is a great time to mention, all of these drones have a RTK GPS capability. That means it can be precise down to centimeters. And actually all these models can also operate on a cores network that is a continuously operating reference station that could be local to you. So you may not even need to set up your own base station. With that said, these drones also have the option of a personal base station for offline use. If you don't use RTK GPS, your accuracy is still pretty good. You can expect between two to five feet variance, 
uh, and it doesn't require any additional setup. And of course, all these drones are fully autonomous from takeoff to landing. There are some manual flight operations as well, but the majority of the time that we operate, we don't touch the sticks. It takes off, flies its pattern, and lands automatically. Now, one of the largest differences between these two manufacturers, XAG and DJI, is that XAG supports cellular or 4G communication. So the drone can actually talk directly to a cellular tower. Now what that means is if you're in an area with good coverage, you never have to worry about running out of range. And of course, if you don't have any cellular service, you can still operate in a normal remote control mode where the drone communicates to the remote controller. Speaking of remote controllers, this is the DJI controller. It is a beautiful controller, high brightness display, very well made and it works great in the field. It's all integrated with the app right into the controller. This is the XAG controller, very different. You have a handheld controller and a cell phone. Now that high brightness display comes with a price and that is battery life. This controller has external batteries that you can install, but they'll only run for about three hours at a time. Versus the simple XAG controller has essentially an all day battery life. With the XAG system, you have the app in your pocket at all times since it's installed on your phone. With DJI, it's built into the controller, so it's a little bit more work to do your flight planning. Now, since the DJI controller does have the standard joysticks that you are probably familiar with with the drone, that means it has some really excellent manual flight operation options for manual spraying. Now, although XAG does have manual spraying options, you can tell their focus is definitely autonomy. It's really designed for autonomous operations from takeoff to landing. Now I won't get too deep into the software now because that could be an hour long video, but there are some differences between the two and some capabilities. One of the big ones that I've noticed is XAG allows for custom path options, which allow you to do spraying uh, as a path rather than an area. So if you want to do a shoreline of a lake, for example, or a fence line, it's really easy to do autonomously with XAG. Another neat feature of the XAG software is that it has an option for non-spraying zones where the drone can fly over but not spray. Whereas on DJI, you have the options for obstacles which the drone has to fly around. It accomplishes the same task, but it takes longer. Moving over to the batteries, this is an extre extremely important part of uh, agricultural spraying drones. You gotta charge your batteries fast. XAG's battery charging will charge in about 10 to 12 minutes from uh, 20 to 90%. And actually DJI's is very similar, about the same charging time. That fast charging time is uh, achieved by using the dedicated generators that XAG and both DJI uh, provide for these batteries. So what's gonna be the best option for you? Well, it really depends on your specific application. If you value portability and ease of changing tanks for different products and cost, the V40 is the way to go. It is a smaller tank, so it is a little bit less productive than the larger models, but if you're operating in areas, I would say from two to 300 acres, this machine is perfect. DJI's system is all about ease of use. It's incredibly easy to use. A lot of people are already familiar with DJI products, and this one's no exception. It has phenomenal camera quality, tons of features, super easy to use, and excellent obstacle avoidance systems. If you're all about productivity, the XAGP100 is the right drone for you. This is by far the most productive aircraft. It's the fastest option, and it is the most optimized for spraying. It's incredibly fast from takeoff to landing. It wastes no time while it's operating. And finally, the last thing I wanna mention is both XAG platforms, they use the same software, same batteries, and you stay within the same ecosystem. They're very easy to use together, and that goes for DJI as well. Currently, only the T40 is available, so you only have one size drone. With XAG, you can actually have multiple size aircraft for multiple operations. At the end of the day, it's hard to go wrong with any of these systems. Uh, it really depends on your specific application, the acreage that you're covering, and your rates that you're spraying. But all of these systems are phenomenal, and that's why we carry them. If you do want to learn more about them, just visit us at our website, hsc-uav.com, and I'll link below the pricing for each of these aircraft. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.